what's up it's yo yo the house lady thank you for stopping by my channel now let's get into this shoe collection oh and by the way please ignore the chirping sound of my security system that for some reason i cannot disarm i think you're gonna like this one these vans are everything of course it was the color for me because i am a rattler which depending on who you ask can be a controversial statement because i did not go to Florida A&M University for undergrad, but I did earn a doctorate degree from there. So you let me know, put it down in the comments. Do I have the right to call myself a rattler or not? I'll be sure to get back to you with the results of that poll. But in the meantime, aren't these vans just dope? The color is everything. These sneakers are opening ceremony. I absolutely love these sneakers. I would say I've had them for at least maybe six or seven years. They don't get a lot of wear, but then again, none of my sneakers really do, but I absolutely love these. They always seem to come in at the right time with the perfect outfit. They did come with another set of shoelaces, those sparkly blue ones. Um, Like I said, I really don't get a lot of wear out of them, but I absolutely love them and they look good with everything. Now, these are just a regular, regular pair of Nikes. I was drawn to these because of the color. And I got them just as an ordinary running shoe. Well, who am I getting? Walking shoe. So I just keep them on deck just in case I want to go running. And of course, I have it to match all of my Nike goodies that I'm going to throw on and be cute. These are Bernie Mev M-E-V. I just got these because I like the color combo. I also like that there were no laces that I needed to lace up and spend time on. Just slide right into them. I probably have had them for about three years or so and I have yet to wear them. Now, while I may not be a sneaker head per se, I do love sneakers and I know, I know this is the sneaker that everyone loves to hate because we still cannot figure out why anyone would make a sneaker into a high heel. But I love every moment of this Chloe sneaker. I don't think I would be exaggerating if I said these sneakers are at least 10 to 11 years old. I remember like it was yesterday when I first laid eyes on these sneakers, I know a celebrity was wearing them and they hadn't hit the presses yet. And I went on an all out manhunt to find them. Raise your hand if you love a good pair of Converse. I just got these because at the time it was a newer style and I just thought they were kind of funky. But hear me and hear me well. These these are the most comfortable sneakers I have ever worn. I wear them just about every single time I travel. I build my travel outfits around these sneakers. I think I've had them for maybe four or five years now. Okay, this was just me being nostalgic. These Reeboks with the gum sole. If you know, you know. I just had to get them. I haven't worn them yet and don't know when I will, but I'll get around to it. All right, on to some high heel shoes. Um, the next few pair you see are going to be shoes that I'm a little sad about. For instance, these, they are Donna Karen. I've had them for years, but I've only worn them maybe once or twice. And unfortunately, as pretty as they are, the color is spot on. It's like a beautiful nudie type color and then the lingerie type straps on the side give it that sex appeal it's just a really beautiful shoe but if you look down into the toe box you can see that unfortunately it is a poorly made shoe the upper is great the leather is really beautiful but the toe bed is peeling and I really don't know what to do about that. I've taken it to a few cobblers and they all say the same thing. 
there's nothing you can do about that toe bed. So I'm kind of stuck with these shoes and nothing to really do but look at them. And I mean, what's the sense in giving them away? Because if they're not beautiful to wear, for me, they're not beautiful to wear for anyone. So I don't know. I still have hope. Maybe I can find someone. These are Alexander Berman. And I guess I'm not so sad about these. The heel, not the heel, the sole is coming off of both of them. So I'm going to have to have these resold, which really is not a big deal. Um, I've probably had these for easily 10 to 12 years and I think it's a really sexy shoe and besides that fall 2023 fall winter 2023 snake print is everything so what's old is new again I think it's a really sexy beautiful exotic smart shoe and brown at that these are my absolute or should I say, one of my absolute favorites. And I have some beautiful shoes. But these, I got them from The Real Real. Probably about, I want to say, 12 years ago. And they were my first pair of Manolo Blahniks. The first pair that I ever really fell in love with and when I say fell in love you see these shoes I have worn them I believe she has seen her best days she has served me well and if I could find anyone to save this shoe I absolutely would if you have any suggestions on resuscitating this pretty lady let me know now this is just an old 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 Vince Camuto I've had her a countless amount of years, at least maybe 13, 14, something like that. A long time. She's served me well. Okay, these are just the businesswoman's sensible shoe, power shoe, sexy. Let everyone in the room know you mean business and you came to close the deal. These are Thy Skin's Theory. I'm sure I tore that name up. And these are very similar. They're actually BG, pardon me, BCBG. And similar, yet they're patent leather. And so um, they serve the same purpose. Let's get the deal closed. Let's get the deal done. And fairly comfortable. I've had them for a very long time. And you know, when something is good, you know how we are women. We have to have it in multiple colors. This is no exception. These are just a pair of ordinary flats. They have the pyramid studs on top. I just love the nude color. And you know, they're cute for running around, running errands. No big deal. I believe I picked these up at Marshall's. And yes, I do agree. They look like the Valentino Rock studs. And these are just a pretty pair of slides that I picked up from Zara. I wear these to the beach. I wear these running errands. And, you know, we love anything that sparkles. And they are quite sparkly. You probably can't tell, but they are. Now, these are Vince Camuto. They are very old. Well, they're about, I would say, three, four years old. This is my first time taking them out of the box. They are new in that regard. I think they're called the Brendan, and it's a ballet flat. And you know, ballet flats are in vogue right now. So maybe I'll get some wear out of them. And yet another pair of ballet flats, and these two are brand new in the sense that I have never even taken them out of the box before, but I've had them for, I want to say about 
four years, five years, maybe. I think they're absolutely beautiful. These are Taryn Rose. And I'll read you a quick ex excerpt of what she puts in her packaging. She's an orthopedic surgeon who brought comfort to the world of luxury shoes using her intimate knowledge of the human body. She partnered with design experts and tech innovators to create footwear that looks beautiful and feels incredibly comfortable. And I agree, beautiful and incredibly comfortable. And next up, Mark Fisher. I believe Mark Fisher has been around for a couple of decades, if I have that correct. I know Mark Fisher has been around for a long time. And I know you can always rely on Mark Fisher for just a pretty shoe. The color caught my eye. Of course, it has that Bottega-like braiding and that square toe box. I've had these for about three years, maybe. These are Charles David, and they were just so cute. I simply couldn't resist. Listen to this. I had to have them. They give me island vibes. They give me that handmade type of feel. I just love them. And it's rare that you find a really cute red shoe. And these are Alaya. These I've had for minimum maybe 10 to 12 years. And they are one beautiful shoe. The I should have stored them better because that way you would be able to see how the rough the laser cut ruffles lay and even look at the attention to detail on the back and that color. Forget about it. It's just gorgeous. These are Anya Espadrilles, the first designer shoes I ever had at 10 years old. I begged and begged and begged for those Anyas and I finally got them. All right, let's just get it out in the open. Never say never. I said you couldn't pay me to wear a dad's sandal. And then these happened. My friend had them on. I saw them. I absolutely lost my mind. I knew they had to be mine. And I was totally against dad's sandals. And yet, here we are in another pair of dad's sandals. Now, let me explain. I saw these when I was watching one of Karen Britchick's vlogs, she did not even have them on. She was trying on an outfit, but these were sitting up on her shelf. And I was determined, and I do mean determined, to find these sandals, <clears throat> dad sandals. And I did find them, they are Arizona Love. I bought them immediately. I probably have had them now for, that's probably been almost two years ago that I saw these in her blog and had to have them. And here we are. I just got an opportunity to wear them probably about two weeks ago and I love them. These are, what are these? These are Nine West. Yes, Nine West. I've had them forever this kind of well not kind of platform wedge cork heel and I don't know if that is genuine leather or some sort of leatherette but I love them now these I got probably about two years or maybe a year and a half ago I somehow, somehow they came up in my search. I wasn't searching for shoes, but somehow I saw them and I just thought the colors were so cute only to find out later that these are actually a dupe of a Valentino wedge. I haven't worn them yet, but we'll see. Now these, these are, what are these? Oh my goodness. Who made these shoes? I think these are Giambito Rossi. I really love them. The gold is so muted and soft and it is a snake print and that kind of tie 
right there. That is so beautiful on the foot. And of course, I love that big chunky heel. Beautiful. Okay, prepare yourselves because I'm about to spend way too much time on this shoe. I absolutely love this shoe. It's easily 13, 14, maybe even 15 years old. Do you remember when Gwen Stefani from No Doubt created a shoe line called LAMB? I think it was an acronym, so it was L-A-M-B. I don't know what it stood for, but nevertheless, I have worn these shoes with everything. I have worn it in a very dressed up, buttoned up look, and I've also worn it with jeans. I mean, these shoes have just been everything and they have been everywhere. And to this day, it's still a badass shoe. And say it with me, girls, when we love it, we get it in multiple colors. Um, This gray, I mean, I have worn them into the ground. I've had them resold and I just love them. I mean, they have just really done right by me. They are just simply sexy. And here's a shot of me and I'm hanging out with my grandmother. Oh, these. Okay, you know every designer has made a version of this shoe. Funny story, I went out of town. The shoes that I was going to be wearing, going out, going partying, I took them to the cobbler and I knew I'd be wearing them for the weekend. And then an event came up that night and he had my shoes and he was closed. I go into the beauty supply because now I have to do my own hair because we're about to go out. And these shoes were in the beauty supply store. Needless to say, I snagged them. $9, not even $9.99. Okay, okay, okay. Can we please have a moment for the shoe? This is a beautiful shoe. This shoe is by Tabitha Simmons. I think it is probably about, I want to say, eight, nine, ten years old. And I mean, look at the color. Everything up about it is gorgeous the heel the shape that sexy shoe shape the double straps the the corset tying up in the back oh it's just beautiful and then the color is like let's just call it mermaid core go ahead fine but it's gorgeous that reflection is amazing. And best of all, they were a gift. Oh, these. These are Geely, G-I-L-I. Just a simple white shoe. I thought it would go well with light, airy outfits. A little bit of a break from the norm of a typical all-white shoe. Cute. Oh, these, these lavender puppies. I love these. I think these, as a matter of fact, these are Charles David. I love the clear strap that crosses the foot. This is really a beautiful, soft, sexy shoe. Love her. Oh, this is a throwback. This is a old Zara throwback. I love that top knot. It gives me dance, ballroom dancer vibes. The knot on the top is so ladylike and beautiful. The color is amazing. I've had these shoes for easily eight years if not more. I think that's being a little conservative. I've had them for a while. Okay, these are Christian Dior and I want to say that these shoes are about, I'm going to give it 13 years old, maybe 12, 13 years old. And if I recall, I got these from 
Ball Harbor, which is where I did a lot of my shopping when I was living in South Florida. I love these shoes. The silver studs, grommets, they just make these shoes amazing. And this is a sturdy shoe because I have definitely worn the hell out of these shoes. And they're still kicking. These are also a pair of Geely, that same G-I-L-I brand. It's nothing special. It's just a wedge, suede black wedge. Now, let's talk. These Jimmy Choo's are just bad for no reason at all. I mean, the design, the heel, the sparkle, the color. I mean, Jimmy Choo did their big one with this color. That smoke, charcoal, gray. I mean, it's just... And then, the sparkle was just made in the right color because it doesn't contrast with the shoe. It blends in and makes it so beautiful. And that Jimmy Choo decided to do a gold zip up the back. Okay, let's talk about these. These are Ruthie Davis. These are beautiful shoes. The flower motifs are absolutely beautiful and done in leather. And then that strap across the middle, secretly giving you security. But in the meantime, badass because it has those spikes. I mean, this shoe is gorgeous. And then it has that lace in the back. I mean, come on now. That's just sweet. Anytime you have something that ties up the back, it's gorgeous. Oh, you might not remember these, but these are old, 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 old Sam Edelman. And when these first came out, if I remember correctly, they came in red and they also came in like this royal blue. And the girlies went up for these shoes because they were so simple they had that sweetheart kind of cut in the front and they were just beautiful suede oh now you want to talk about oh this is a bcbg throwback there's that top knot again like that previous zara shoe I love that look I just think it's so sweet and ladylike and again it's giving me ballroom dancer sexy and I love it oh and here we have another pair of BCBG and I have to say of all my BCBG shoes I think I can go on the record these are the dopest the baddest these are some bad shoes I've had these for moons here it is. Now, these I absolutely love. These are actually Tory Burch. And I think they're a take on the Bottegas. However, the netting, which I did not consider on this, is quite large. So what, it, what happens is it allows individual toes to slip through the holes i think that's a design flaw unfortunately okay these are bachelor mishka and they are super old they're at least at minimum they're about eight nine years old that shape on these is absolutely beautiful anytime a shoe is made this way it's gonna be beautiful on a woman's foot I simply love it oh these are a pair of Steve Madden I would say these are probably about three years old and of course they're a take on 
that Louboutin that had all the spikes all over it. But this is important to note about these shoes. They're beautiful and they seem to be very well made. I haven't gotten any wear out of them yet. But the spikes on these are serious. Like these spikes are so sharp that I think about, you know how your foot may hit the other and scratch? Well, anyway, these are shoes that I got from, everybody asked me about these shoes, hate them or love them. A lot of people ask me, are these Prada? There's one more designer that people ask about these shoes, but they are not. I found these shoes in the adult store and I think they might be called Boudoir. That's probably not right. Yeah, that wasn't right. It's called Bordello. Here they are. This is an old photo. Oh, another pair of Tabitha Simmons. And here again, we see that cut on the shoe. That's a very sexy cut for a shoe on a woman's foot. It's always going to be beautiful. I feel Tabitha Simmons has a knack for shoes that you don't often see in any other shoes. Her shoes are always beautiful. Even if it's a shoe that's not necessarily my style, it's beautiful. Okay, now these are a throwback. These Gucci shoes, I'm not sure I can call them vintage yet, but they are that old. And I wonder if I could have avoided that white piping yellowing based on the way I stored them. I don't know if that's something that I could have avoided, but unfortunately, the white piping has yellowed. And if there's a way for me to correct that or maybe even enhance that color so that it doesn't look so stained, it's possible that I would still be wearing these shoes because I absolutely love the shoe, love the cut on the shoe, and love that it's like an Oxford. Speaking of Oxfords, these are Lucky Brand, and I guess it's just the parochial school girl in me. I absolutely love an Oxford, and anytime I can get my hand on a good pair, I'm going to snag them. I didn't try these on because they are brand new and they're so packed with stuffing and laced up. I just decided I would show you a few pair of my Oxfords. These are, I think these are Anye. They were absolutely beautiful. Same deal with these. I've had both of these Oxfords, actually all of my Oxfords for at least three years now and I've never worn them, but I'll definitely get around to it. And then this is a gray pair, same Anya shoes that I absolutely love. I have um, a soft spot in my heart for Anya. As I mentioned earlier, um, that was the first designer brand I ever wore. So I love them. And these, I think, are Chinese laundry. Um, I've never worn any of these, but I know I will get around to it. I'm just waiting for that perfect outfit that's going to call for this shoe. Now, these next few pair are just the sensible, everyday corporate America shoe, if that still exists. These are shirts. They are blue suede. And if you know the struggle, it's always hard to find a good blue shoe. And that's exactly what I saw this for. Just a good blue shoe. Oh, now these are, hmm, I think these are Vince Camuto. Yes, these are Vince Camuto. And the color is just insane. I went crazy for this purple and you'll see throughout 
my shoe collection that I do not have purple shoes with the exception of that little lilac one but I just thought this was a beautiful purple shoe these are nine west and I don't know if these are flies or killer bees but either way when I saw this shoe I was just really I don't know there was something interesting about it and I just decided I had to have it and I really thought that the wooden heel on here was a really good touch a good combination with the pattern so I snagged them now listen Linda listen these shoes right here I absolutely love them these are Mew Mew and I'm going to give these I'd say I've had these for about 10 years I don't wear them much but I think they're kind of special anyway and I don't want to tear them up the way I tear up shoes so it's okay that I don't wear them much anyway these are platform and the cut on the shoe gives you just a little toe cleavage real sexy okay these are top shop and i think every designer brand has made this shoe it is so sexy vixen smart confident i just love this shoe now i've yet to wear it and it's probably about hmm, let's give it about three years old i'll get to it oh these now these were a big get because i got these as soon as they came out these are dolce and when I saw these Dolce & Gabbana shoes, I went gaga over them. I searched for them high and low. And I was finally able to get them. I've had these for easily. I'm going to give these 12, maybe 13 years. Now, I've worn these. And I've worn them. They go with anything and everything. And they are especially great with a polished look. And staying in that same vein of beautifully studded shoes, the infamous Valentino Rock Studs. Now, I love the Rock Stud collection. And I love all of the Rock Stud shoes. But when they first started popping, I didn't see a pair with the exception of that nude color. I love them all, but I didn't see one that just caught my attention. And then there were these. When I saw this pink, green, golden, camo type of situation, there was no question. Wrap those up, ring them up. I'm taking them home and I have loved them ever since. I'm going to give these probably, I don't think it would be a stretch to say that these are about 13 years old. And every time I put them on, it's like a new feeling every time I wear them. Oh, I'm laughing because I stepped out of frame and then I came back because I I didn't know if I had given you a good enough view of that heel. But aren't those heels absolutely divine? I mean, Valentino did their big one on these many years ago. And they are still as special today. All right, let us move on, shall we? Because we have a lot more ground to cover. We're going to get into some booties and boots. These booties are Michael Kors and I thought they were just gorgeous. I think the black stones were such a perfect
perfect touch so that it gave it that monochrome look and the stones are not so contrasting. If you know me, you know I always say I don't particularly love an open toe booty, but when they are special or unique, I usually grab them. These are another pair of Mark Fisher, just a sweet like little booty that laces up in the front. Really cute. These are Veronica Beard and they are silver leather, as you can see, metallic silver leather, and they are just as beautiful in person. The leather is so soft and amazing. I have had these for probably about maybe six years. I've worn them twice or so, and they've just been beautiful every time I've worn them. I don't get a lot of wear out of them, but not because they don't go with everything, because they really could go with any and everything. I just haven't worn them much, but I love them. Okay, this is an open toe booty that I thought was kind of unique because of that snow leopard look. It's a type of faux suede, I think. Just simple and clean. I love the cut on it. Now, can we talk? These are amazing. She is her. These are Alexander McQueen and I know these are at least 13 years old. Every single time I wear these shoes, they are the topic of conversation. Love them or hate them. And they have a little skull that hangs from the front. So that's always an area of interest for women that want to talk about them. I actually get compliments from women and men on these. I love them. Really, really funky. Here's an old photo from New Year's Eve 2013. Oh, now I love leopard. And when I say I love leopard, I mean, I'm one of those ladies that will OD on leopard. And these are Cassidy and they're just amazing. The heel height is ferocious. I mean, these boots are absolutely the ones. And these are also a big hit anytime I wear them, certainly the topic of conversation. And did I say these are easily, I want to say 10 years old, if not more? Definitely. All right. These are just my around the way girl, Timberland boots. I'm from the Northeast. You already know what it is. Northeast girls are going to have a pair of Tim's. And I never tie my shoes. Don't ask why. These are, I forget what these are. Interestingly, I don't think I've ever worn them. And I'm sure I got these from Barney's. I've owned these for probably, let's say, 10 years maybe. Um... I forget, I forget. Maybe I can put the name of these, but they're old anyway, so they're probably not around anymore. Anymore, I can usually recall, but it's escaping me. Actually, they are Donald Pliner. That's what they are. Yep. Next up are these Prada boots. I mean, they are giving me headmistress vibes. And I absolutely love them. These Prada booties are probably, mm, I'll give these about 10, 11 years old. And they look amazing. And you know what it is. It's Prada, so they're going to hold up. These are, 
Hmm. I hope I get this right. These are Vince Camuto. The color got me. These are probably about three years old. Okay. These, I saw them and they look so good on TV. And somehow I ended up with a size nine. I still can't figure that out. And I'm a size eight. Um, so I haven't worn these. I'll probably end up giving them away. Oh, and by the way, they were from Nasty Gal. These are, hmm, these I believe are Isaac Mizrahi. Yes, they are Isaac Mizrahi. These are silver leather cowboy ankle boots. And I am telling you, I love these. I think they're probably about, hmm, I'll give these about six years maybe and I think I've worn them all of once or twice at best but I love them okay next up just a simple I think these are also Vince Camuto um these are a take on a Louboutin from like 20 years ago and I could never find that Louboutin so these are really, really a very close second. And they just go with everything. And now I will attempt to film the rest of this video without my alarm chirping in the back. So next up, we have this pretty girl. These are by Lola Cruz. And when I tell you I am in love with these cowboy boots and the craftsmanship on these boots is so meticulous. I mean, they're just a really well-made boot. I found these in Winter, was it Winter Park? In this boutique, very unsuspecting and Winter Park, Florida, by the way, very unsuspecting and I just had to have them. I mean, aren't they amazing? I've had these now for maybe not even a, I don't think I've even had these for a year, just about a year. And I've gotten a chance to wear them twice and they've been a big hit. Now, as you can see, I love things that sparkle. I am the quintessential magpie so these are steve madden and there is a story behind this boot and to make a very long story short the steve madden staff searched high and low for this boot for me and they did a stellar job of finding it i first saw them on a good girlfriend of mine and it was up from there I was on a hunt for them and they also come in a bronze color and as much as I love them I'm surprised I didn't get the bronze okay so yes I said I don't like an open toe booty but hear me out these are absolutely gorgeous i hope you can see the leather on these and that big tassel is something sassy when you walk i mean that thing is swinging back and forth and you can hear it hitting on the side of the boot what can i say they're just real swaggy okay next up are these little reddish wine numbers and I love this little booty these were a gift from my grandmother and believe it or not believe it or not of all the shoes that I have shown you and the ones that are to come these are probably some of my most 
complimented shoes. I tried to find a photo where I'm wearing them and this is what I came across. Okay, next up, these are my oldest shoes. I bought these shoes in 1998. They are snakeskin. I have worn them over the years. I don't even know the name of these boots, but I love them. Okay, these are my... Um, these are my docs. I got these doc gladiators as my answer to the recent like gladiator boot that came out by Alexander McQueen. I think they came out about two years ago and I knew they were quite heavy and they were beautiful, but this just served me better because I spend more time in warm weather and I love them. These are, I think these are opening ceremony. Yes, opening ceremony, right? And I've had these for probably about four years. I haven't worn them yet and they just have so much stuffing in them. And I tried to take one out and get a foot in and it was an ordeal so I figured I would just grab them and show them to you. But I can't wait to throw these on with something because they really are smashing. That silver heel in the back, everything. Love them. These are old, old, old. I remember panting after these boots for at least a year before I could find them. And I think I also got these from Barney's. I know these are at least 12 years old. These are Lawrence Decad and the grommets, the stud work on these, impeccable. This is a gorgeous boot and that color that they chose to do them in, that suede is absolutely gorgeous. Now, these, some of my most worn boots, these are good old faithful Sam Edelman always going to come through and you know Sam Edelman if you know um, Sam is part of the duo of Sam and Libby I think they were married actually I think they were a married couple if I have that correct but yeah perfect now these monsters are Giuseppe Zanotti and they are suede and they are the moment. I know I've had these boots for, I want to say, about 10 years. Yeah, I don't think that's an exaggeration. About 10 years. And i probably worn them twice. Three times at best, but I'm going to stick with twice. And I love them. The heel is amazing. These are absolutely gorgeous and they are never ever, or should I say they will always be in style. That's just an amazing boot. Now, whether I'll always be able to wear that heel height, well, that's another story for another day. But for now, we gonna rock out. Okay, these are Stuart Weitzman and I love these. They're very simple. They're up to the knee and they just serve the purpose when you don't want a lot of fanfare. Actually, I always want the fanfare. Next up, now these are probably about two to three years old and these are Steve Madden. And this is the first time I ever took them out the box. I just opened the box, made sure they were the right color, and that was it. And I wish I would have opened the box because it's likely I would have returned them because the back just doesn't fit me well. Now, I can either have my seamstress or shoe cobbler, rather, sew them up and make them fit. But smart me, I bought them in two colors and did not try either of them on. And while I love the colors, the fit's not so great. 
Oh, okay. These are my, um, these are Tory Burch. And I love these boots. They're probably about two years old. And they are just absolutely gorgeous. I love the height on these. These are true thigh high boots. And that cowboy style, but not so cowboy that it's very distinctive. Just beautiful boots. Now, <laughs> these boots are probably 15 years old. These are BCBG Max Azria. I believe I saw these in a runway collection and I went nuts. I went nuts. I really think this was the week um, I spent, or should I say this was the time when I went to fashion week and that was I don't know easily 10 years ago and I want to say no I'm getting confused but I think these boots are probably about 15 years old yeah about 15 years old but they're amazing I absolutely love these boots now these were something I think I just grabbed from nasty gal when I was buying those brown ones that I showed you previously the brown patent leather ones and I saw these and I just threw those in the cart in addition to because the color was so captivating and I just thought it was pretty I like a much higher heel height but they're fine they'll go with something I'll figure out something to wear them with yeah that kind of orange sherbet very pretty now these are Victoria's Secrets and these boots are 23 years old and when I got these boots from Victoria's Secrets I didn't even know they had something so gorgeous honey speaking of Victoria's Secrets now I know that these are also from Victoria's Secrets and they are probably about, I think these are from around 2005. So I just found these rummaging through all of my shoes getting prepared for this video. I have not seen these boots in probably 10 years. And they've just lasted. Now, these are my Hunter Wellies. I, if you've seen any of my previous like first videos you know that I am a real estate investor and I renovate properties and so I usually have these around because you never know what kind of mud and dirt you're going to have to go through but I left them on a job site and my painters did me the courtesy of not covering them up and painting them and changing them into a whole other boot so half of them is painted and the other half is not because that's the side they were laying on and guess what I'm still going to wear my wellies. I sure am. I love that these hunter boots have a heel on them. It just makes them so cute. What do we have next? Oh, oh, now let's just sit here and stay a while. These are, I don't know if I can call these vintage yet, but these are my Chanel thigh highs now you want to talk about a thigh high baby this is a thigh high I mean look at that quilting on that boot and they are very discreet you have the cc's on the little zipper hang and or the zipper pull and that is it these are just beautiful and every single time I wear them I get compliments on them. The leather is amazing. They suck onto my leg like a glove. I mean, it's like they were made to order. Now, if these thighs get any thicker, and I say that with a smirk, if these thighs get any thicker, I will not be fitting into these Chanel boots and somebody else is going to have to enjoy them. But for now, it's all me. Now, here we are, Madame Louboutin, and these two, when you say you're wearing thigh highs, this is what they need to look like. 
These are the Gasolina. And I know I've had these boots for, I want to say, 17 years. I'm going to say 17 years. I got these from, I think, Design District in Miami. And I searched all over. I had my essay search high and low for these boots and I have loved them ever since and like I said they are a show stopper these also came in suede um this is a photo from at least 10 years ago and last but absolutely not least are my Gucci riding boots now, whether you can really ride in these, I don't know. But I went to the ends of the earth to get these boots. I remember the first day I saw these and I said, no, ma'am, I will not wait for these to go on sale or end up at an outlet. I'm going to have to go full throttle on these because when I tell you they are bad, they are bad. Trust me on this. Those tassels swinging back and forth as you walk. And if you are walking with a real stride, the this like a cat of nine tails. They command, if you know, you know, they command your attention. And Gucci is on there very discreetly written on that little side buckle. Nothing screaming Gucci, which I wouldn't have had a problem with because I love a good logo moment. But these are really quiet and the leather is amazing. And did I say I've had these for at least 15 years? I know it's at least 15. Um, I don't get a lot of wear out of them because obviously it's a cold weather thing and I live in a tropical climate, but anytime I can get to the Northeast and get to some cold weather, they're coming with me. Well, that's not really true because I don't always pack them. But if I think about them as I'm heading up to, up to the Northeast when it's cold, I will grab them and throw them in the suitcase. Well, that's it. Thank you for sticking around and checking out my shoe collection. Let me know which one was your favorite. As a matter of fact, let me know which one you think is my favorite. Thanks for watching. Bye.